What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life Deep connection, lights a spark It's like you know me in the depths of my heart We're dreamers so many times because I kind of think I don't necessarily want to look back on it I don't want my account to be sadness but then I think you commit to being real and it's not all sunshine and roses with horses it's hard and it's difficult and there's hard times and well, talking about it helped probably. I feel like also when you put a dedication to put your life for people to, to watch, and I know it's only a small amount of people, but still, I think you owe them an explanation. I think a lot of things at the minute. So, the last vlog you'll have seen was Molly coming home, which was excellent. Um, fabulous, all exciting, new start after the upset of what was Mo. Um, unfortunately, I lost Reg. To lose two horses within five weeks of each other, it's unbelievably cruel. And I think you sit and blame yourself and think, what did I do so wrong for it to come to this? I then had lots of talks with my vet and everybody else and you come to realise that actually it's just sheer bad luck. Horses are very fragile and particularly thoroughbreds in particular are very fragile. So it is what it is. But I think a little bit, some people have been asking about what happened to Mo, and so today's the day that I can do an explanation as to what happened to both of them, to set the record straight, and then to kind of tell you what the, I'm not planning anymore, but to tell you what the future looks like, because I have toyed with the idea of just packing it all in. But then, I made a commitment to a young horse out there that doesn't know any of it, you, you know. And I think when you make a commitment, you stick to it, no matter what. No matter what your financial situation, no matter what your mental, emotional, I've made a commitment to that little horse. And we have to, we have to go through with it, right. Sorry if this is a chat vlog. I will put some memories on of the boys that start this journey. I'll do a story of Reg at some point. So what happened with Mo? Mo was checked on, uh, we'd recently moved, we'd done everything in regards to introduction of horses to a new yard. I honestly will hold my hands up and say I did everything. I went beyond everything to make everything was safe. Everybody was introduced. Um, I turned him out, he was absolutely fine. We checked on him, uh, Tan checked on him at two and he was fine. I came at four to find um, him in the field with a broken hind, severe lacerations to both bike legs, and his foot had been amputated. So he had no foot. We found the foot. Tan found the foot. So what we believe has happened to him was that he was very exuberant, as we know, he got himself entwined in a fence line and panicked so severely that he caused the injuries to himself. Again, when we came out of the vet, there's nothing we could do, and he was put to sleep as soon as, as soon as the vet came. The vet came within 10 minutes, and he wasn't suffering anymore. I was told by the vet that that was her third she'd put down that day due to field injuries, and she kind of went, you know, we don't know why they do these things. Maybe it's the weather. The weather was extreme at that point. So Reginald. Reginald hurts. 
he taught me so many things and he was the one that started this he was the one that started this dream off the dream I don't know that I want anymore but we are where we are um, it was really bad snow that day and I couldn't get to the yard uh, so Tan came up to see him to see them all and she ch she came in about half past eight Reg was showing signs of colic we struggled to get a vet out because the snow was so bad and we are where we are and uh, it, it was difficult after ringing all the vets I managed to get up here finally and we managed to get a vet out who gave him every treatment that we could um, but at that stage Reg was quite severe he picked up initially after the treatment but then within an hour went downhill ridiculously fast the decision was made then was we couldn't get Reg to referral so it was the kindest thing was to put him to sleep no one should have to say goodbye to one horse let alone two but I made a commitment to them boys too that I'd be there with them till the end of their days and I was I also feel I need to add that nothing changed with Reg's management everything stayed exactly the same there was no difference in how I managed that horse the only thing we could put it down to was the weather has significantly changed and maybe he didn't drink as much or like the vet said just sheer bad luck I know there might be people out there that's going you should have done this you should have done that with both of them I can tell you right now nobody blames me more than me so that's not helpful sometimes as much as it might be right it's not helpful be kind a little bit of a just a memory reel of the boys they gave me the fire to start venting. Reg took me from flopping over a pole to going around some decent, you know, some V tracks. I had some great fun along the way. I've met some amazing friends through them both that are friends for life. And a lot of people have memories on Instagram with Reg because I trained a lot with people out there. So yeah, here's the boys, always in memories. Never forgot them. Sorry the story didn't end how it should. I hate this weather, but I like the view It makes me think of new beginnings Here's a new beginning, I can't sleep alone Cause if I do, I'll think of you, the nights are so long Wondering if you miss me too I'm losing myself in the city zones for a while I'm fine But as soon as it gets quiet, I know I'm screwed came into my life shortly after I lost Mo. She was a little shining light then and my god she's a shining light now. So Molly, do you want to say hello? <laughs> this is Molly. You'll have seen her come on the last vlog. So if you're still happy to stick around and see a retraining of racehorse vlogs probably for the next foreseeable future, 
There's no venting with you yet, Moles, is there? And she'll be what she'll be. We don't know yet. We don't know what you'll be. Happy. That's what I want her to be. I don't care what you do. I just want you to be happy. So I think we'll give you <laughs> honest start from start to finish, taking a racehorse off the track. Molly is three, she'll be four soon. And following the journey to see what she becomes. I love eventing, that will always be my main goal. But we'll see. I'm gonna put in now a little bit of a first lunging video that I did with her, just so you can see the very the very initial starts and totally understand if this channel is no longer for you. But if it is, stick around. At one time I thought there was nothing than rock bottom, but there's rock bottom. There's it on friends, it was just rock, rock bottom. There's a whole pile of crap and then there's me. So it can't get any worse. Say so like, comment, subscribe. See you next week. Can't you see that I just need to be by myself? I have told you many times now. Yeah, can't you see that I just need to be by myself? I have told you many times now. But somewhere. Looking for a new start